I'm Mike Stanton. It's October 20th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here at the Bond Buyer California Public Finance Conference, about 500 muni professionals up in San Francisco. Morgan Fahey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk is with me back from New York. Morgan, thanks for taking some time this week. Thanks, Mike. So this week, a very volatile week again in munis. Last week, you saw a bit of a flight to quality. This week, that was pretty much uh, all reversed. What did you see? Definitely. Um, so the market saw volatility again this week. It seems the market is continuing to monitor the unrest overseas and digest economic data as it comes in. We saw initial jobless claims come in at 198,000 versus the estimate of 210,000 on Thursday. And overall this week, we saw treasuries sell off across the curve, anywhere from 20 to 25 basis points with the 10 year around a 490 and the 30 year around a 506 at the time of the video on Friday morning. And then on the muni side, we saw you know continued outflows, continued strong bid wanted activity, Munis ended the week about 20 to 30 basis points wider across the curve with a 30-year ratio at about 88.6% as of this morning. And just to kind of put that in perspective, over the last month, we have seen munis move about 50 to 55 basis points wider across the curve. So some pretty big moves there. On the technical front, not as dramatic for munis. Uh, we saw fairly modest outflows this week. Uh, we'll see if that accelerates next week as uh, retail investors start to see some of the losses they, they suffered this week. But for now, it's folding in. Certainly interesting discussions here at the conference. Uh, the the higher for longer, or at least here for longer, uh, attitude has definitely taken uh, effect. A lot of discussions about how issuers can monitor or manage a higher interest rate environment with uh, swaps, tenders, things like that to help uh, manage their uh, debt portfolios in this environment. But also just a lot of discussion about the fact that uh, Refundings are not on the horizon, and uh, overall supply is likely to be muted. Um, but in the new issue market this week, uh, overall supply is looking uh, still fairly good, as we've, we've talked for the last few weeks. That fourth quarter kick, uh, seasonal kick in munis does appear to be in play. What did we see this past week? Uh, for sure. So the new issue calendar this week was right around $13 billion, which was one of the busiest weeks of the year. BAM saw a nice activity. We priced around $245 million across 25 series in nine states. And just kind of a couple deals to highlight here were the 29 million Chichester School District in Pennsylvania, which was priced by RBC, a 22 million city of Toledo, Ohio, which was priced by KeyBank, and then a 19 million Lehigh City in Utah, which was priced by Stiefel. And as you kind of mentioned with the fourth quarter, you know, kind of being in full swing, as we look to next week, the calendar continues to be strong. So as of this morning, it's about 9 billion. And you know, it's definitely exciting for the market to continue to see that calendar build. And just a couple of deals that we'll be focusing on, you know, watching here at BAM are the Chicago Midway Airport deal, which is going to be pricing across two series by Jefferies. And then there's 140 million city of Cape Coral, Florida, utility improvement assessment bonds, which are going to be priced by Morgan Stanley. And certainly looking ahead to uh, one of the things to keep an eye on is that we are in the seasonal push of Texas municipal utility districts. Those transactions come in the competitive market, so it's uh, a little difficult to estimate the BAM volume every week. But this past week, it was $108 million across, I think, seven municipal utility districts. Uh, so that uh, activity will continue to come uh, from Texas. Well, thanks for your time this week, Morgan. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. You too, Mike.